So I still love my BKR 9000. It's my favorite. Um, but I noticed after charging it full uh, charge cycles, it uh, started, the battery started reporting low uh, hours left and the, the milliamp hour estimate was super low. So anyway, I uh, sent an email reported the problem to BK. Recently they came out with a, a memo on what the problem is and a fix. What it was is their super smart uh, dual charger. Um, it uh, has firmware in it. And so I had to send it back. I had to flash the firmware on it. It's got little pads inside. Of course, I took mine apart and looked. 3.0.16 firmware is supposed to correct the problem. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop one in without any other delay and see if it, uh, if it fixes my problem. Let's look at my battery real quick. I got the system test menu up and I'm going to go to battery statistics and uh, we'll see so it says 45 percent of up to 12 full charges i started noticing at about six or seven full charges um it dropping down where it was reporting you know really low milliamp hour that should be 4900 anyway let's uh pop it in and see if uh this will program the battery. The batteries are smarts, and the batteries are the BKR 9000 batteries. They're the BKR 102, 0102, and uh, from beginning of production till January, there's a number on them too. And I'll, after we do this, I'll, I'll pop the battery off. But uh, I'll go ahead and shut the radio off. And you have to pump, pop it in the back um slot and the, the lights are supposed to do some blinking here and it only takes about 10 seconds supposedly okay we're back to solid so i think it programmed it <clears throat> we'll uh pop it up in the front one and see if it does the same thing yeah it only blinked about three or four times on that let's see if it programmed it <laughs> look at that 80 percent 39 14 and now it's estimating over 16 hours so hooray yes yeah, so the affected ones will have um right here v sam rev 5 and it's a BKR-102 for the BKR-9000, which has different tabs on the top. I think that's it for now. Service bullets and a link. Sometimes YouTube likes to nuke the link or actually nuke the whole video. So hopefully they won't do that. But look at that, it's charging. These were fully charged when I, uh, when I sent them back. Oh, real quick, since we're talking about the charging cup. Um, the the 5000s will fit in here, too. And charge. There it goes. It's done. And um, it's just the, the bottom tabs are different on the bottom of the radio. That one's green also. And this is what the bottom rail looks like. It's kind of like a power drill. More looks like it's it can handle more current. Here, this model here is just VHF and UHF. Right now. No 7800. I actually I programmed 700 channels in this. And uh, the air it gives is uh it just said a seven interop. Yeah, there you go, invalid, wrong band. 
700 don't work on this one and now it's now it's showing the error so that's that all fixed